What's up, guys? Welcome to MGTOW Mafia on this beautiful, foggy day in New Hampshire. I'm your boy, Phil, and let's see. So, life itself. Everybody's here. We're all sharing the struggle. But let's talk to the divorce guys, the guys who are still trying to get past all that and let's see the title of this one we'll say is making ends meet after a divorce well that can be kind of tough but then again once you put your life back together I mean I I would say I had an easy divorce I did not have she made more money at my at you know with me at the time I was only 28. Just starting my friggin' life. But I tell you, all the struggles, everything else. So let's see. How I did it, again, I just kind of, I threw myself into a business. Um, started a landscaping business. Went from there for three or four or five years. I forget how long it was. You try different things. You're just like, okay, you got a new lease on life. That's exactly what I'm thinking it is. So not just that. Try what you want to try. Because anytime a serious situation in life happens, you really just want to say, this is the time to try new things. No matter what time, what year, what age. Until you're in the ground and that's it, it's over, you know, you always have time. Even an 80-year-old guy could get on the internet and share his knowledge. I've actually seen some of the uh, some of the sites and, you know, talking, you know, the websites, talking to some of these guys. They all have something, something to say, something to learn. Anybody out there really can piece together some little thing in their life. And there's a bunch of guys or girls out there that'll sit and listen because you got something to share. Uh, I'm glad for all my friends and always meeting new people. You know, as you get older, though, I find it's picky. You get picky unless you haven't learned in life. But if you're learning things in life, you just, uh, you're cautious, I guess. It's all I can say is you're cautious. And to try and find a real friend is tough. I'll be glad I have, I have one childhood friend. And dude, if you're watching, you're the best, man. I wish the best on you and you and your family and everything else. But anyways... If you can grab a childhood friend and stay in contact with them, I personally think, and what I've seen, that's a rarity, especially amongst guys. I've noticed females can do that a lot easier than guys can. I mean, maybe I just haven't talked to enough guys, but I don't know too many guys that have a childhood friend and keep in contact with them. It's kind of a blessing. It's really cool. Um... Just to touch base, you got that old friend that you can talk to, and that's great. It really is something. And even if it's just on the phone, it's something. You share the good, the bad, and the ugly. It's someone to talk to so you're not alone. If the guys are absolutely alone, try and talk to someone. Get to a store. You know, it's funny. I've seen enough videos and I've lived enough life that <laughs> mostly... <laughs> You can go into, let's just pick Home Depot. You can go into Home Depot and say you're in a tool section and you're talking about something. Well, everybody loves to talk. And if you give a guy enough time, he'll tell you his friggin' life story or about whatever's going on in life. And that's nice. A lot of guys just like to roll up to by themselves and do their own thing. It's good and bad. But anyways, let's see. Ooh, we're at that moment. I don't know. I don't want to make the video run too long. But 
just making ends meet in after a divorce is really more about trying to find family or I should say keeping what family you got because to me family is overrated to a certain point and uh, I don't know it gets really tough but we're gonna have to get into some financial stuff and I'm not a financial whiz that all I can do is tell you what I've learned but get out there and just keep making friends especially after the, after a divorce you probably lost your childhood friends and just get out there and do what you got to do in life.